Hey there, this is Akshit Manar and welcome back to the third part of the complete Instagram user interface tutorial using this Flutter flow. So till the last part, we have covered this complete home screen of our Instagram user interface as we can see on the screen. And in this part, we are going to build this UI that is the profile page of the user. Right. So without wasting more time, if you are new on this channel, you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Now we should start building this profile page. So for that, I have to come to the profile page. So in this pages section, I will select the profile page. And as you know that I was using this uh, template and I have to remove it and I have to make everything from the beginning. Right. So let's select it, delete it, select it, delete it. Now I can see that it's completely black and I have to change its color to white because we are building it in the white theme. So you selected color. Now we don't have anything on this profile page. So first of all, we should uh, just uh, uh, take a container and put it inside this canvas. So let's search for a container. So this is a container. Let's put it inside it. And we can see that it is not taking the complete height and width. So select it and you have to select the percentage and make everything 100. Both of them make it 100. Right. So now it is taking the complete height and width of the canvas. So let me again see the section. Yes, we have one container, then second container, third container uh, and fourth container. I think first of all, let's build the first two containers. That is the username container and this uh, profile main profile container. So I will put one more container inside it. So for first of all, we have to add a column inside it. So choose a column, drag and drop, drop it on this container and now we can search for container drag it and drop it over here so it should take the complete width of the mobile phone but for the height i want to give it give it around uh, 50 uh, yes 50 is enough and yes perfect now this container is the container where we have to add the username so i will take a text i will search for a text put it inside this upper container and we have to also change its alignment so i will go inside this alignment tab in the vertical direction it should be yes it should be in the center and horizontally it should be at zero only that is perfectly at the center now i can change its uh, text properties so first of all its text should be i know that it will be dynamic it will uh, take it from the database but as now we are just building the ui and i'm just giving you the introduction to this flutter flow how you can just try drag and drop the elements and you can get the code of the complete ui that's why i will just keep it uh, static so i will uh, use my name only as the username so i will use my original instagram handle akshinmadan underscore right now let's change its uh, font weight it's very light let's make it bold uh, looks good and for the text i want to give it roboto so let's use this roboto font and the size will not be 14 it will be 18 yes looks good now we have built this now if, if i see the yes if i see this i can see that it's completely white but now we are getting it in the gray format so i will keep uh, all these containers colors as uh, white only so choose this container and select the color as white exactly white yes and yes okay now we have to add one more container and we have to add it inside uh, we have to add the profile picture then followers following inside it so i'll take a container paste it over here and it should take the height as 100 pixels yes it's look good and for the width it should take complete 100 percent nice now in this container first of all we have to add a circle image and for that we have to take a row so let's take a row and put it inside this container now search for a circle image put it inside it now we are getting this circle image yes and to, to this container we have to give it a padding so in the widget tree you have to search for this container lock this and give the padding of 10 nice now i will uh, let me search for random pictures on the net random people and i will put this photograph this one looks good so let's select it so copy the image address 
and to this image we have to give it in this network image url paste it yes looks good but we have to make the box fit as fit width uh fit height yes looks good now we have added the photograph also that is circle avatar now we have to add we have to create this section that is we will be adding a container and inside this container we will be adding a uh, row and two rows so we will add one column and inside it we will add two rows right so let's do it shit i just crossed it no problem uh, first of all we will take a container so in the ui builder you have to search for a container sorry let's go to profile page and search for container drag it and drop it over here it should take the complete available width so for that i have to go inside alignment and you have to select expanded so it will take the complete available width right now let's change the color of this uh, container so that i get an idea where my things are going yes now i know that here i have to work on so for that first of all i will add a column right because if i see the image just a second so if i see this image and zoom in a little bit i can see that it is a column right so column of two rows so this is the first row which is containing the numbers and this is the second row which is containing the headings of these uh, numbers right so i will add a column inside it so i will search for a column put it inside it now you have to search for uh so i will take one row put it inside it i will take another row okay first first of all let's build one row only so in this row we have to add a container right uh, actually we have to add three containers so let's search for it first container will go inside this row like this but it should not take this much uh, uh, height it should take we know that this container is uh, i think we can make it uh, take 30 30 is very less 50 i think 50 is enough yes 50 is enough and we can add one more container and we can add one more container this container should also take height 50 pixels and this container should also take height of 50 yes but i i am getting that i am seeing that it is getting overflowed from here so what i can do i can make all these width as equal for that so for that i have to select each of these three containers and i have to make them expanded so select first container go inside alignment make it expanded Select second container, go inside alignment and select expanded now same thing take it as expanded now i can see that it is taking equal spaces right perfect amazing now i can uh, search for text and put this text inside this first container and i have to make this text as a number so let's make it 32 and for their alignment go inside this alignment and make it vertically aligned yes and we have to also change its uh, font weight i will keep it black and black is not looking good so i will make it extra bold and font size i will keep it 20 yes now select one more text paste it inside the second container take one more text and put it inside the third container now again change their uh, uh, text so this hello world will let me take 15 let me take 1500 and this third text i will make it 63 and you have to give the same properties so uh, font weight will be extra bold size will be what the size was 20 yes so make this size as also 20 and alignment will be vertically aligned and to the third text also take its uh, font weight as extra bold font size 20 then alignment will be vertically aligned yes i know the font uh, text uh, that is font is not that same so let's try to see what are the other fonts 
Okay, it is taking pop pins. I want to take it robot two. Yes, let's make it robot two. Okay, now I have to take. Uh, I have to add one more row inside this column. So I will search for a row. Put it inside it. Yes. Or what I can do is I can delete this row. Go inside the widget tree. So what I can do is I can select this row, Control C from the keyboard, and inside this column you have to paste it. Everything is pasted. Now I have to change their text so it will not be 32. It will be posts, and its font size will be 16, and its font weight will be just semi bold. And you have to do the same thing for this one also. So font size will be 14. Uh, sorry, 16. Font will be just semi bold. Yes, and do the same thing for the third one. And we have to also change the text. So it will not be 1500, it will be followers. Do the same thing for this one also. Make it following. Now I can see that there is so much gap between them. So what I can do is I can select this and I can make it aligned to the top like this. Select this one also, make it aligned to the top. This one also, make it aligned to the top. And still there is so much gap, so I can select this one and I can make it uh, I can change its alignment to a little bit lower than the center. Yes, so it is 0.65. So for this one also, I will make its align alignment as 0.65. This one also 0.65. Fine. Now I can remove that red color. Still, I can see that these many, uh, this post followers and following has little bit same uh, font weight. So I will decrease their font weight to light. Light is not good. I think normal, normal is also not good. Medium is okay. Select this one, make its font weight as medium. Yes. Now I can remove that red color. So this is the container, yes, so its color will be white. Nice. Now we have added this thing also. So this is how you uh, just use these columns and rows and you add everything, right? Now let me see that photograph. And now we have to add uh, the person name, bio, and just a link, and then this button. So let's do it. So in the last time, I'm also going to teach you to use grid view. So stay tuned, okay? So first of all, I have to add a container. So I'll go inside the widget UI builder, search for a container, put it here. And its width will be 100%. Height will be 100. Its height is not 100, it will be 80. Yes. Now inside this, uh, I have to add a column. So let's search for a column, put it inside it, right. Now in this container, in this column, we have to add a uh, text. So I will search for text, add it inside this column. And it's, uh, we have to make the alignment of the column. So I will search for that column and its main axis alignment is okay. Cross axis alignment will be from start. Nice. And to this container, I will add a padding from all the sites that will be 10. Nice. Okay. Let's change its font weight and text. Let me take it my name and its font weight will be semi bold. I can see that it's a little bit. Uh, it's not aligned to this photograph. So what I will do is here it is and uh, this container. Let me see 
what we can do we can add one more padding we can increase the padding of this container so let's make it 20 but now we have to just change the padding from the left hand side so what i will do i will unlock this and let's remove this from left it will remain 20 and from every side it will remain 10 and from the top also i will increase it uh, sorry decrease it uh, it's the top i will make it zero yes perfect looks fine i will increase the font size to 16 yes now i can take one more text search for text and put this below this one now i can add my bio so i will make my bio as keep coding keep innovating nice we have added the bio now i will add one more text yes and this one i will just put an http link just youtube slash c slash okay so i have added the link now we can just change its color to blue looks fine we can also change its font let's make it roboto only roboto is not looking good i think poppins is only perfect yes so we have added this one okay now we are just we have to add this button so let's add this button inside this container so for that thing we have to increase its size so what i will do i will increase i will go to widget tree and choose this container and i will increase its height to 120 yes now i can add that button so let's select button this one is a button and we can paste it over here and the button will be having the height uh, sorry width of complete width of the mobile and height i will keep it small because it's i think 40 is also very much 30 and what we have to do is its border radius is a little bit higher than expected so i will select it and button style is there border color is there border width is there border radius is instead of 12 i will keep it just 2 2 is a little bit less let's keep it 5 nice and its color will not be blue its color will be grayish i think this much uh, let me see this no okay it's white okay so we have to make it white only exact white and inside it we have the text so we have to change its text from button to edit profile yes and the text color will also change uh, fill color is this then the button is there button color it will be black but not exact black yes perfect looks good but i can see that it's just stick to that link so i can add a small container in between so let's search for container so what i will do is actually instead of container i should add padding or i should add a sized box so for that thing if you don't find your exact widget you can request a widget so i will uh, request for sized box let's submit yes now for now i can just add a small container over here its width will not be its height its width will be 100 percent but its height will be just five pixels perfect i hope it is visible to you right now i think we should continue the rest that is the grid view uh, in the next part because it will be a little longer so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot